The first nation that might come to mind in terms of cavalry is Poland, but no, they're weak. If you want to see stacked cavalry modifiers, you want the Horse Boys, a custom nation with cavalry combat ability, flanking, and more. In this video, you're going to see exactly how overpowered stacking cavalry buffs is in EU4. Right lads, welcome to the Horse Boys. I've been sat here for the last 10 minutes staring at my monitor as I sort of go over what I just said and realise I should probably go outside more. Anyway, let's stop thinking about that and start picking our rivals. Also, Crimea can be our rival because, um, well, we need a step province, so I just pick this one. We're a bit isolated from the boys. Oh god, first things first. Cavalry only, boys. Oh, he's a 4-4. You legend. This is not going to go well for the uh, the Teutons. All right, Livonian Order and Stetting. Can I fight them all at the same time? I am outnumbered, what, 3 to 1? Not quite as impressive as the Winged Hussars, but we'll take it. All right. For the first time in E4, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to drop down the speed. I want to see this happen. <laughs> this dropping the speed did not help at all. Right, we are crossing a river into farmlands. Here we go. Let's see what they can do. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, that extra flanking ability, huh? See, I told you, this is just so much better. Oh, it's happened. It happened already. Plus 15%. We're on 180% recovery combat ability already. Oh my god, the game loves me. The speed of these horses. There we go. I am. Is that the free company? It is. Well, I'm about to make your investment obsolete. Oh god, it's so brutal. Stop it. Get some help. This is so unnecessary, Poland. Oh, for God's sake. Just give me a give me a second to, to handle this. God, well, I wanted to fight the Poles. I didn't want to do it quite so early, but I wanted to fight the Poles. I suppose you won't even white peace. All right, well, let's see if we can win two to one. I'll take those areas, and I desperately need money, so I'm not going to pull out next to you. All right, that should help us with our loans. He is wanting to cut us off. Okay, right, now's our chance. He's moving into that province. He's locked in. 10 on 10. Oh, just the instant difference. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, we need to get out of this war immediately because uh, we're losing 12 buckets a month. I mean, we can't take a little little summon summon now. You wouldn't... Commanding Tarnov without taking any forts in the area. What fort is in the area of Tarnov? I've taken Krakow. It's the nearest fort. All right, we will get a coalition, but... <laughs> If you've watched this channel before, then you know that doesn't really matter to me. If you haven't watched this channel before, be sure to subscribe. God, each time I do that, chips away at my soul. I am of the opinion that forts are only going to slow us down. And by slow us down, I mean I can't afford them. You want the return of an elected monarchy? When did we ever have an elected monarchy for us to return to? This nation's literally six years old. I've annoyed every single estate in order to get that plus 20%, which means our cavalry combat ability plus 85%. Oh yeah. Mill take five, that sounds good. Oh good, I get to upgrade from bloody Bardish infantry to Eastern Militia or something, but excellent. What a brilliant military advance that is. Where always takes this province? This is just where the Cossacks live. I don't actually care about it. Uh, did the Cossacks hear me? No, they didn't. Cavalry combat ability plus 20%. Wait, who did you choose? Ah uh, yes, all these strong options around you and you picked Cleves to protect you. Let's see how that one goes, buddy. The thing is, the Burgundians have chosen Cleves, and they're instantly 100% disloyal. So what was the point? You just made, like, two days later, you changed your mind. Did anyone else miss the old mission system? Is it just me? Probably just me. Let me know in the comments if you if you prefer the old mission system. I love the mission trees, but for, like, generic nations, it's not that interesting. It was more dynamic when you had, uh, you know, actual missions to, to pursue. Oh, you want to run? No, I'm afraid that's not how this works. Oh, wow, okay. Apparently, that's how it works. You just blitz me. Moldavia, are you, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I took more damage because Moldavia wants to fight with me. That's not, that's not ideal. The thing is, if he fights with me, then infantry goes on the front line instead of my cavalry. Okay, so how do you feel about... <laughs> Unification! I do not have the admin power for this. Oh, God, I should have taken money instead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, if there is to be a coalition... I don't want you getting caught up in it, Moldavia. You've done too much for me. It's not it's not you, it's me. Okay? You, you'll be better off without me. Alright, the last guy was a 4-4. Let's see what this guy is. Decidedly not a 4-4. Also, his name is Solistri. Okay, well, <laughs> doesn't matter what you are. Priority. Okay, I'm just going to play this super defensively. going to stay in my own land. Where are you running to, Denmark? Huh? You declared this war? This is what you wanted, no? How many people am I even fighting? I didn't check. Uh... 
It's actually, we don't actually don't know it that badly. It's only about four to one. And they're all, oh man, that is a terrible decision you've made. How are you going to get to me? Pretty sure I could face each of you on the field of battle all at the same time. And I think I'd still win with these ridiculous troops. The flanking ability is, is just obscene. This might be the most overpowered thing I've done. I lost 43 men. If anything, I'm, you know, I'm just really conscious of climate change. I really don't want that to become an issue in the future, and so I'm uh, removing people. In Sweden, I want to show you something. It's it's called the Dead Regans. God, that's dark. Not really the time for it. Oh, okay, now the Bohemians want some, some war. Okay, well, that, that suits me. I'm going to be in a lot of debt. I'm actually kind of glad that Bohemians are declaring war on me. Oh, look at the timing. It's literally you and Brandenburg. That's not a coalition. You don't get to call that a coalition. That's just, that's sad. All right, let's, oh, there's quite a few troops here. Uh, get some cleanup going. Oh, they've all attacked me at the same time. Oh, it's the first non-stack wipe we got, but already I've got 37% on this wall. Not your smartest move, Bohemia. Really wasn't. Why Why would you sell this province? You're a one province miner now. You probably... I mean, there were a lot of steps you could have taken before selling that one province. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I accidentally... Uh, I don't know if the mic picked it up, but I dropped my glass onto my foot. Reached down, looked up, and suddenly there were a lot fewer troops. I mean, do I even want to go more ridiculous? Because I could. I really could. Thanks, game. Put me down to minus two stability. Brilliant. I really appreciate that, you know? I like it when the game decides, no, you're not having a hard enough time, to, like, having everyone declare war on you. Make everything worse. Unfortunately, Denmark is lower now. So I can pay off all my loans and take war operations and also more provinces. <laughs> Screw it. Why not? It's more of a point and click adventure. What? What? Yeah, sure. I'm like, seem to think that going through my land is going to help them fight Venice. And now, whilst I siege down a fort, I have to wait for them to take out my entire nation. <laughs> I really should have gotten some forts. But then I'd be sieging forts constantly, trying to get them back. I don't know. I think this is the better way. And that's mainly because I've already done it. I can go over my manpower. I think I just found like a really cool exploit. Well, it's not really an exploit because no one would ever do this. But let me check. The tribal allegiance stuff. Right now, it's on 39.9. I win this battle. It's on... 43 so it's four and again i can just keep on conscripting for 30 so 10 every like what eight battles i can get another 6,000 manpower i literally can't run out of men if i had a couple of gold mines this is i sense a campaign here lads i sense a legitimate campaign of the tribal federation where i'm just like constantly at war that could be a lot of fun let me know in the comments uh if that's something you want to see i'm asking a lot of the people in the comments now the thing is as well with rebels like you just saw Rebels will use the default composition, meaning that even though they're my rebels, they only use infantry. I've actually cracked the code. This is why this is so overpowered. The money side of things isn't great to be fair, but the tribal allegiance means you're never running out of manpower. And if you ever have to fight any of your rebels, either they're separatists and so they're, you know, worse because they're someone else's um, rebel type, or they're your own separatists, in which case they use infantry and not cavalry and don't take full advantage of your bonuses. This is, this is insane. All right, Silly would come out. That's a wise choice. You're at war with the Mamluks and me. What? Silly. You are bold, my friend. You are bold. I like that about you. All right, they'll give me everything I want. Which, incidentally, is uh, most things that they have. They lost 180,000 troops to my 13,000. 13. All right, yeah, remember when I said if, if, uh, if I had a gold mine, all my problems would be solved. There is a gold mine of be. A gold man? A gold mine in Bohemia that I could have taken and I, I didn't. Jesus, Muscovy. I mean, I can't really complain about taking chunks out of Lithuania considering what I did to them. No! What? Moldavia! You bastard. I will have my vengeance. I'm bringing back Moldavia. I don't care what it takes. We're doing it. Could you not have waited just a little bit? Right, well, we'll deal with the coalition first, I suppose. Right, I will be looking for a white piece in this one. Don't think uh, I'll be doing too well otherwise. They want to fight us. 27, okay, now that this is actually quite a few troops. Okay, all right, this is a lot of, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna need every single unit I have. That's a lot of troops. Oh, okay, they're, and they're fighting us. Oh, that's, that's, that is quite a few. There's another coalition war. I still won, it's my 40 war score on its own. That is the most expensive battle I've ever seen in my life. Okay, all right, let's calm it down. There's a second coalition war of, that's a lot less than epic isn't it but anyway like i mean there's quite a few troops here let's go and deal with the ottomans okay let's get out of here um who's this war against regensburg am i able to get there 
I am. Okay, let's uh, let's go do that. I mean, a lot of people talk about financial independence. I like to talk about military independence, which is where your troops are so good that you don't need to worry about expansion because coalition wars mean nothing to you. I need to wait for a little bit. <laughs> My land is completely occupied. I have four percent. How? Is it just because everything's occupied? All right, let's get working on that. Here's the here's the general strategy, by the way. I'll have cut most of this out. I wait until I've defeated most of the armies in an area, and then I split up a little bit. Get my manpower back by sieging back my own lands. And then watch in despair as they uh, as they do it all over again. Alright, it seems like there's only one choice. I've been doing all that without the cavalry combability. I need I need more troops. Gonna hurt the wallet, but I gotta do it. Oh god, that's that's a lot of Ottoman troops. We're on number like four to one. Oh my god. Oh, that was actually a little bit painful. Put minus five away. Okay. Um relative strength alliances, so we'll probably go down if I keep murdering Austrians. They're on zero! Come on! White piece with Tunis? Absolutely. Yes. They lost 400,000 men. I lost 20,000. Right. Time to deal with the big guy. Oh, I need to deal with this other coalition war first. I have your capital. Right, give me a white piece. Excellent. Right. There's the coalitions dealt with. Time to go and deal with the Ottomans. Well, let's conscript tribes and let's do it twice. We're going to keep 6,000 of those and we are going to give ourselves 6,000 manpower. Uh... This is awkward. Oh my god, I lost the battle for the first time. Oh, this is what you get, Ottomans, for killing my good friend and compatriot. I thought by unallying them, I'd, I'd save them, but no. All right, will you peace out now, Gizibuka? You will. Oh, the worst pronunciation of Gizibuka book I've ever, I've ever had. Oh, that was a terrible mistake. Right, we won that siege. Now time to go and kill more Ottoman troops. Bankruptcy looming. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh uh, um, this is bad. There's only one way we avoid bankruptcy, and that's by taking the Ottoman money. Constantinople, and quickly, that was feather horses. Uh, I can take out burger loans. I've taken all the loans I can. I've done everything I can. I told you gold was going to be the death of us. I have just enough troops to siege both of these at once. Yeah, I'm losing 10 a month. I've got 30 months in me. All right, uh, there's one quick way to get money in this game, and that's to raid everyone else. Uh... I don't really want anything else from you, to be honest. I don't know. Cool food can go free. Second so Crete. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> they lost 220,000 men. I can pay all of my loans. I don't have any loans. Oh, I, I did it. Moldavia, buddy. We're back. Oh, yes. Oh, God, it's been good. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we'll call it for today. So that might be the most overpowered thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I have 2,500 hours in this game, and that is the most overpowered thing. I mean, look what it did to the Ottomans. It's insane, and uh, I never dipped even close to zero manpower, mainly because I kept on winning battles, and then I could use this thing. That was a lot of fun. So, if you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I think it's the third thing I've told you today to, to say in the comments. Do be sure to like the video and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. And make sure to join the Discord. We actually have sort of Hunger Games UHC type thing happening on a Minecraft server that we've got on the channel. So if that's your cup of tea, then come to the Discord and come check it out. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.